Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the sounds from Drum Fury 2. We're going to have a little bit of fun with it. Now, before we get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. Alright, so we're going to quickly just go over um, some of the controls and the file structure for this instrument, but mostly this is going to be a demo of all the sounds. Um, so real quick, we'll look here at the instruments. You can see we have them all split up. So you'll notice we have a drum kit now. Uh, this is going to be, you know, kick, snare, crash cymbals, and all that stuff. It's a nice addition, um, and it can be very dry or very punchy and processed. Um, and I want to go over some of the energizer and polisher controls a bit with that as well. Then we have found sounds, um, which are kind of unique. Then we have metals, synth kits, which are really cool. Woods, just, you know, wood blocks and wood ensembles. And then the world percussion, which is going to include ensembles as well as solo instruments. I'm going to go over each and every single one of these instruments. But before we get started, let me just show you real quick some of the controls. Now you can use the energizer here and really make these sounds uh, very over the top and processed like this. Normally this is very dry kind of standard drum kit and then with the energizer uh, it you know really pushes it over the top and good for sound design so you also have the polisher there you can hear the difference there So again, another thing that's really cool is the stretch function. If you hit a drum, for instance, take that snare, for instance, uh, if you hit stretch, it will apply this to the sample that you last hit. So we've got the snare. We can now do that all across the keyboard. And then of course, a reverse function, which is pretty cool here. You can apply that to any of the samples as well. Now I'm just going to kind of undo all that, reload the kit, and I'm just going to shut up now. We're going to check out some sounds. Each of the sounds are labeled up here and also on the side if you want to know exactly what you're hearing. And as always, please leave us a comment if you have any questions about how I achieve some of these sounds. Um, I will be happy to share that with you as well. So let's check it out. So really, I guess I'll go over it just very quickly. I mean, that gives you a wide variety of sounds from the first drum kit there. Uh, the, that was the full drum kit dry, absolutely no reverb, no energizer polisher or anything. Also no external effects here. Um, and then the, the kit process sounds a lot more punchy as you can hear the difference there, uh, but it's a, lit, a, a little bit thinner and a little bit um, less uh, full on the EQ spectrum as well.
Now we'll go on to some of those found sounds. I'll show you the names of those very quickly. Um, the found sounds container, the found sounds reservoir empty, just kind of a metallic sound there. The reservoir empty too. The same sound, I think, but it has a delay on it. And then reservoir watery, which gives it that weird Kind of like a phaser, flanger type sound. Um, so here's the found sound section. These are really good for adding, you know, the the high end of the percussion, the top of the mix stuff. It's really cool. Now we go on to the solo world percussion, and I wanted to show the lower dynamics as well. You hear the word drum fear, you think very loud, very epic, but I really like the sound of these drums. And then we go to ensembles after that, but let's listen to the lower dynamics of these drums and how they're really nice and detailed. Now, something also to note is that we have um, some nice rolls here. So you don't just get the single hits every now and then you'll get like kind of a roll articulation like this, which you have to put off center, but it sounds very good in context like this. And when we mix it with everything, you know, it kinds of gives it a more human touch with that roll. So then we'll go on to the ensembles and here we start getting louder and bringing in more things like the found sounds together with the ensembles and this is where we can get into some fairly epic territory. So let's look at this um, right here, the trash can rolls and the dull effects, which again is going to give it a more human touch. If we listen to those on their own, again, they're more human and have more of a natural groove than everything quantized inside of your piano roll. So just adding those on top of everything else, again, just adds a nice extra layer. And we also bring in the metals here. So let's check that out together again. Now this is having some fun with the synth kits and also combining other stuff that I've already shown you, like the solo drums, found sounds, as well as the ensembles here. So the synth kit, again, what I did for this is take the attack, raise it up, and leave it on this sample here, which gives it sort of a bass sound. Combine that with the um, ensemble drums, the world ensemble. And then kind of a raise up here with the low pass filter, just this one sound with the woods and with the dull effects, it just gives a nice little transition to the new synth kits, which again, are kind of more on the extreme side and a lot of fun to play with. And this final section shows you how you can use the stretch function to use one sound that you like and alter it a bit. So we start off with the synth kit just like this, and then in the second measure I'll add in the stretched sound, which gives it um, some more tonal options.